Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Taurus please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. March 2021. Okay, Taurus, so we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, angels, what is the message for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus. <clears throat> so I have improving health. I mean, that could be your physical health. This could be also to do with financial health this could be to do with a health relationship you know yeah all kinds of things so let's pull some cards and see what else we get Taurus I'm going to pull four cards the first card first week second card second week third card third week fourth card fourth week but divine timing and all that the energies may well overlap and then I'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always <clears throat> Okay, message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Taurus. What does Taurus need to hear for March 2021? Thank you. Okay, Six of Cups. The Magician. Very nice energy, Taurus. Knight of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles there. Okay. Let's straighten those up. Hopefully you can see those there. Okay. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guide. Message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please, for March 2021? March 2021, please. Angel Spirits Guides for Taurus. Thank you. Thank you. First card is turned over. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this could be you. Male or female energy. Can be somebody in your life as well. We have the Magician with the Emperor here. Justice. And the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Cups. So Taurus we have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands generally represents burdens, burdens that have built up over a period of time. Um, but it's a ten, which signifies that this can be over or something can be over or is soon to be over. If you allow it to be, sometimes it can be. Remember, the Wands is action energy, how you take action in dealing with burdens, things that have been weighing you down, pressure, extra responsibility. Um, call it what you will, but it definitely feels for some of you, the load's about to be lightened because we have some kind of improvement here, improving health. Now, you could have had health issues. Um, this can also be to do with a relationship. This can also be to do with your money, finances, career, other areas of your life. It is a general reading, so take what resonates with you, Taurus. I kind of see this Queen of Pentacles as you. Um, Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is, is very focused, very patient and very resourceful. She has a, a resourcefulness about her, a practical resourcefulness. Um, she's also very nurturing. So 
there's definitely this feeling of of nurturing, taking care of yourself. Again, the Six of Cups, yes, it can be revisiting the past, somebody from the past, but this can also be about reconnection to who you are as well. And I'm definitely feeling, because this feels like you more than anybody, it feels in this situation you're reconnecting to who you are once more, finding your happy equilibrium once more. Um, nurturing, very, very good in terms of growth and... Um, uh, can be in terms of money career, providing financially for yourself. Um, very good also in terms of health, you know, regaining health, getting on track with health, coming back to who you are with health. So very nice energy in that respect. The magician is what is it that you want to manifest? Uh, now, for some of you, the magician is very much about timing. The time is now. The time is now to take action. Remember, the magician is inspiration, action. 110% belief in his own capability to bring change to a situation, change an idea to reality, um, negative to positive. He is the alchemist, base metal to gold. So there is definitely this energy, Taurus, of you have the ability, if you focus, the resourcefulness to focus on what is it that you want to change because you have the power to bring change to your situation now, transformation, to manifest something. Um, so, you know, you can see all the tools on the table, the pentacle, the cup, the sword, the wand, earth, air, fire and water, um, complete resourcefulness at your disposal, along with blessings from the universe to now manifest. And you're being told when the magi magician appears, the time is now, the time is now to take action. The emperor is a card of, of initiative. I mean, he's the great initiator. Somebody who takes the initiative. I mean, it is airy season towards the end of March, you know, and it, it feels for some of you, you know, the Emperor is Aries. So it can be for some of you. I mean, you might be manifesting something with an Aries. That could be, you know, on the cards here. Or, I mean, that could be in terms of business, that could be in terms of something close to your heart, that could be in terms of, you know, uh, love, romance, relationships. Um, but he is somebody who takes control, somebody who is in his power, has 110% belief in his own capability to shape his world. So definitely an energy here of you have the power here the drive, the initiative, the vision, the capability, the resourcefulness to manifest something here. So it feels very beautiful. The third week um, here, Taurus, we have the Knight of Cups. Now, the, knight, the Knights bring change, as we know, and find direction. And definitely in this energy, this is to do with the heart, our emotions, our feelings. So the Knight of Cups can be to do with love, offers of love. Um, with the Justice card, what I'm getting here as well is, and it's somebody who wants to, it can be a card of, of balance, justice. It can be to do with... Um, yeah, it can be to do with marriage as well, guys. I mean, it, it can be to do with marriage. So, you know, for some of you, I mean, there could be some kind of marriage on the cards. This is like contractual energy, you know. Um, so there could be some kind of like marriage here um, or proposal. Um, can also be a card of an offer, somebody, um, creative opportunities that restore balance in your life, you know. Uh, can be you know can be very expressive opportunities creative opportunities and um, so just look out for that if it's not to do with love it can be to do with an opportunity that brings joy happiness something that is absolutely close to your heart the 
Again, the Ten of Pentacles can signify a committed relationship and marriage. So for some of you, you know, there could be some kind of proposal on the card here because, you know, this can be to do with the home, the family, committed relationships, marriage, you know, that kind of energy. So for some of you, this feels very good. Um, can also be the money card as well. So getting some kind of offer, goal achievement in terms of money uh, that, that is providing not just for you, but for your family and again that could be the queen of pentacles here as well you know she is very good in terms of providing for financially for herself she's very resourceful that way so getting back on track providing financially for yourself as well maybe that could be some kind of like meaning for some of you because the high priestess it feels for some of you trust your intuition you are aligning to your soul path um, and again this ace of cups as we know, is new beginnings, um, and it's the this cup of joy. I feel it's linked with this, the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, it feels like the beginnings that are new beginnings and next level. You know, this could be some kind of offer opportunity in terms of love. Like I said, for some of you, it could be going to the next level in a relationship. Um, very good in terms of creative opportunities as well. Like I've said before. Um, the new beginning starts, you're aligning to your soul path, um, but this is something that makes you feel happy, joyous. It's also a card of self-love, being really, being fulfilled, happy. The cup runs over, you know, so this is where you're just feeling that be new beginning of happiness, contentment and fulfillment on a new path. It can just be, you know, the, the new beginnings can be physical new beginnings here for some of you. can also be to do with um, emotional new beginnings, you know. So, yeah, just watch out for that. But you are absolutely being offered this cup of joy. Um, and it feels for some of you, whatever burdens you've been going through, if you have been going through some burdens, there's definitely an energy of you will have the ability to take control of a situation, be back in your power and shape your reality the way you want it to shape it. Have the opportunity to change something negative to positive, an idea to reality. You know, um, what is it that you want to manifest? Yeah, remember the Emperor is the four, which is very much about foundation, stability, security. So that could be to do with opportunity in whichever context this resonates for you. So I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah, so we have light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Isn't that lovely? So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.